Good morning. It's Tuesday, June 6, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Body Parts, and our scripture is Genesis chapter 2. Then the Lord God formed the man from the dust of the ground. He breathed the breath of life into the man's nostrils, and the man became a living person. An adult human body consists of slightly more than 200 bones and 78 organs. Five of the organs are considered vital to life, heart, lungs, liver, kidney, and brain. Now, those are the rudiments of biology, the basics of structure and function. However, life is not all biology, just the physical mechanism of the species. There are also the metaphysical or abstract body parts, without which we could not exist. There is spirit and soul to go along with those body parts. And let us not back shelf what gave life in the first place, God breathing his own breath into Adam's assembled body parts. Then, and only then, did he become a living soul. God made humankind. God also revealed to Apostle Paul the analogy that as a human body functions in concert with all the bones, the organs, and resident breath of God, so the human race with all its different and unique parts is to function interdependently, working together for the good of the body. Applying that principle to the body of Christ, the church, God's intention is that the differences that form us into groups, male, female, nationality, social strata, religious sex, etc., fade into the background. As in Adam, spirit supersedes flesh. As a species, we have light years more in common than that which divides us. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. The human body has many parts, but the many parts make up one whole body. So it is with the body of Christ. Some of us are Jews, some are Gentiles, some are slaves, and some are free. But we have all been baptized into one body by one spirit, and we all share the same spirit. In the Gospel accounts, we find Jesus under attack by supposedly spiritually wise religious teachers. They accused him of being satanically inspired because Jesus had healed a demon-possessed man. Jesus, ever the master of logic as well as truth, told them their diagnosis was ridiculous. Satan casting out Satan? Mark chapter 3 a kingdom divided by civil war will collapse. Similarly, a family splintered by feuding will fall apart. For you today, our human bodies were created to have bones which support and protect the inner body parts, and those inner parts strengthen the bones. All of that structure was formed to cooperate with the breath of God inside our spirit and soul. We were created for better than feuding and dividing into camps. The smallest bone in the human body has a great responsibility to the rest of the body's health, the stapes bone, which is commonly called the stirrup. Located in the inner ear, the stapes bone is the link which connects sound waves to the auditory nerve. In short, without this bone's function, our brain is cut off from sound. Without that little bone's service, our communication with others is drowned in a sea of silence. So, here's a word to hear. Gird up your stapes bone and let it sink in. John chapter 13. So now I'm giving you a new commandment. Love each other. Just as I have loved you, you should love each other. Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.